but two new chips for the Mac. I am thrilled to introduce M1 Max. This incredible chip builds on M1 Pro and takes its amazing capabilities to new heights. M1 Max starts with a much higher bandwidth on chip fabric and doubles the memory interface once again. This delivers up to 400 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. That's twice M1 Pro and six times M1. This wider memory interface lets the M1 custom package support up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory and its die has a staggering 57 billion transistors. That's 1.7 times M1 Pro and 3.5 times M1. It's the largest chip we've ever built by far. M1 Max has the same powerful 10-core CPU complex of M1 Pro and doubles the GPU to a massive 32 cores, giving M1 Max up to four times faster GPU performance than M1. And it has an even more capable media engine with up to two times faster video encoding and two porous accelerators. M1 Max delivers all of this with industry leading performance per watt. For Apple Silicon, power efficiency defines system performance. That's why M1 is a breakthrough. When you look at its multi core CPU performance versus power curve, it continues to crush the latest four core PC laptop chip. M1 is phenomenal. And when you add an M1 Pro and M1 Max, they deliver dramatically more performance. To put that in perspective, here is the latest 8-core PC laptop chip. M1 Pro and M1 Max have higher performance at every power level. At their peak, they deliver 1.7 times the performance of the PC chip in the same power envelope. And at the peak performance of the PC chip, they deliver the same performance at 70% less power. That's a big deal. Now here's the GPU performance versus power curve of M1. And here's the integrated graphics in that eight core PC laptop chip. M1 easily outperforms it while using significantly less power. So when we add an M1 Pro, it's in a whole different class. At its peak, it's more than seven times faster. Now many PC laptops add a discrete GPU for better graphics performance. So here is a PC laptop with a powerful discrete GPU. M1 Pro delivers more performance while using 70% less power. But that's not all. There are compact Pro laptops that have higher performing, yet very power hungry discrete GPUs. They deliver strong performance, but they consume a ton of power. And on a notebook, when you consume that much power, it means more heat, noisy fans, and less battery life. So let's look at M1 Max. It delivers comparable performance while using 40% less power. Now let's compare M1 Max to the chip running in the fastest PC laptop we could find. It's a high-end system that is much bigger and heavier than a compact Pro laptop. It delivers even faster graphics performance, but it also consumes a massive amount of power. Here, M1 Max delivers similar performance while using 100 watts less power. This is unheard of, and this remarkable efficiency means M1 Max performance is outstanding, plugged in or using the battery. If you look at the Compact Pro laptop on battery, its graphics performance drops significantly. M1 Max is up to two and a half times faster. And if you look at the high-end laptop when it's on battery, the drop-off in graphics performance is even more extreme. M1 Max is over three times faster. This is one of the huge advantages that Apple Silicon brings to our poor users. So that's M1 Max, scaling up the M1 architecture even further. It's by far the most capable chip we've ever built. Simply put, it's the world's most powerful chip for a pro notebook. Next, here's Craig to tell you how Mac OS takes full advantage of M1 Pro and M1 Max. Bring that. Bring that. Little back, 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 back.